a quick look at the Xeon Phi again. So the 70, 7120p coprocessor card. Let's start up a demo. You can see the total memory usage building here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, just over 9, nine gigabytes used there. Here's the crown. Really nice model. Let me just clip my microphone on and I can uh, move it around a bit. Okay, so let's, uh, let's zoom in on these nice um, these nice jewels that we've got in the centre because these really give the uh, the card some work to do. So you can see the noise when. Uh, when we move the image around, we move the model around, and it's a cumulative image, so the path tracer builds up layer over layer over layer, and you can see that you'll start to see over time that these um, these gems, these diamonds and uh, emeralds and rubies and the pearls, everything starts to become gradually clearer. And you'll notice around here these speckles will start to disappear. The noise, the noise will start to disappear out of the image, so as it cumulatively builds up. Looking at the um, the control panel here, we've got 209 watts being drawn, 100% usage, and if we look at the CPU usage here, it's very low. I've got another model to show you. It's not as interesting as that one. More basic model is the Dragon that I've got here. Only uses about one and a half gigabytes of memory on the card, and it's just your usual Chinese Dragon. Less demanding image that you can run this sort of model on the uh, on the cards with eight megabytes of. Uh, of, of uh, DDR5 memory. Let's see, CPU use is still low. Slightly less power used on the uh, on the card, so probably slightly less core utilization on that one. I'll just fire up the uh, the Embry renderer just to show you a similar sort of path tracer running on the CPU. So you can see the CPU usage there. Got a few different models. Um, got a Cornell box, uh, up to about sixty percent usage per per thread there. Um, what else have we got? Anything else interesting? Let's have a look. Uh, not particularly, not particularly interesting. Just to show you the difference, how. When running on the CPU, obviously all the threads are used up. 24 cores over two CPUs, 48 threads. I think E5 2670 version 2 off the top of my head. Going to be making another video soon, having a look at the Xeon Phi Knight's Landing processors. This is the Knight's Corner, the first version of Xeon Phi, running on the coprocessor card on the, in the machine. Going to be having a look at a four-node server using four of the Knight's Landing chips, which are up to about five times the power of these cards. They use later generation Atom Silvermont cores instead of the Pentium-based cores in this early version, earlier version of the Phi. So that's going to be interesting, interesting machine to look at. Hopefully get some software running on it so we can draw some comparisons between, you know, CPUs, and the older co-processors.